what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be looking at five free to play money making methods that have the potential to be the most consistent or you know even the best money making methods in free to play better put these are five free to play money making methods that will always work in the game pretty much no matter what now the reason i'm making this video is because i know a whole bunch of people are new to the game a whole bunch of people are coming into the game every single day and especially with the release of mobile it's gonna be pretty packed with new players and a lot of people are gonna be wondering how the hell do you make money now the biggest issue with free to play is that it is just roaming with bots so a lot of the methods that i thought were good actually suck ass because there are a lot of bots just abusing them but uh yeah i've got a list of five methods and let's dive right into it i'm going to show you guys what they're all about all right guys for the first method what we're going to be doing is filling empty bowls with water this method is very simple to do, requires absolutely nothing, and all you need is a 10 to 50k cash stack to start, I would recommend. All you're gonna do is come up to the Grand Exchange, buy as many bowls as possible for the amount of cash you have. All right, so with that cash stack, I was able to buy around 1,651 bowls. Once you do this, guys, what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself to Lumbridge. You can just use the home teleport in your spellbook to do that. Once you're here, hop to world 117, the free to play PVP world. And as you can see, there's a bank right beside a fountain here. Just bank all your bulls. We have them all right here, 1,651. Pull out a full inventory at a time, guys, and use the bowl on the fountain. They're gonna fill up rapidly, as you guys can see, and you're just gonna have to repeat this process over and over again until you filled all your bowls up with water. Now guys, if you're fast enough at this, you can get around 2 to 2.5 thousand bowls of water in the hour. It depends how efficient you are being, but as you guys can see, it is a pretty AFK method and it requires absolutely nothing except a little bit of starting cash. Alright guys, so like I said, you can get around 2,000 to 2,500 bowls in the hour. That actually only took me around 25 minutes of being fully efficient and not really AFKing too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the bowls and we're just going to sell them on the GE here. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to try to put them all in for 59 GP and we're going to see how long that takes. Alright guys, so that took around 10 or 15 minutes to buy out all of them. I'm not really going to count that time because I could have been logged off the game while that sold. But as you guys can see, we actually profited quite a nice amount. As you guys can see, we sold all 1,651 for 97.3k and we bought them for 47.8. That is pretty much a 50k profit and it only took 25 minutes. So this method is north of 100k per hour for absolutely no requirements except a little bit of starting cash. All right, guys, for method two, what we're going to be doing is looting in the PvP world of free to play, which is 112. You're going to walk yourself over to the Grand Exchange, which is the main trading place in the game. It is just northeast of Varrock, if you guys don't know where it is. Make sure that you are in a safe zone and you have no wealth on you when you hop to these worlds because they are dangerous and you could die. This method is great if you have absolutely no starting cash and you want to acquire some very quickly and for absolutely no cost with no requirements. All you're going to do is run out and pick up all the adamant arrows you see on the ground. I've done a ton of looting videos on my channel and looting is a great way to make starting cash because if you don't have starting cash then the rest of these methods aren't really going to help you. So definitely start out by looting if you want that free money. I mean it is just so easy as you guys can see I've been looting for about 15 seconds and we've already acquired 1000 GP. Now as for places to loot, I recommend going to the PvP world which is in 117. You can also go to Edgeville which is just located east of the Grand Exchange. Hop to world 8. And once you're in Edgeville, guys, all you're going to do is run north to the Wilderness Ditch. Again, make sure you have nothing valuable on you. Just make sure you've banked all the loot. And then you're just going to run north into the Wilderness where all these players are fighting. Same idea. There's going to be a bunch of adamant arrows on the ground. You might even get lucky and get some rune scimitars or rune 2Hs. Once you have a full inventory and you're pretty confident that you want to bank, all you have to do is go to the bank. Now, the reason I don't recommend looting on World 308 is because it is just bot infested. Look at this. This is pretty much just one bot script running the exact same same thing on all these different level 3 accounts. I mean, this is just ridiculous. They even have the same outfits. But yeah, that's method two, guys. If you need that starting cash, make sure you go loot on a method three. For method three, what we're going to be doing is making anchovy pizzas. Now, the requirement for anchovy pizzas is 55 cooking, but cooking is the easy skill in the game to train. So if you don't already have that, I'd recommend doing some fishing and just cooking everything you catch. You'll get 55 cooking in pretty much no time. Alongside the 55 cooking requirement, you're going to need some starter cash. What you're going to want to buy are the plain pizzas, and you're also going to want to buy anchovies 
Once you have those things, what you're gonna wanna do is just put everything in your bank. You're just gonna wanna pull out 14 of each and just use a plain pizza on an anchovy and just begin making anchovy pizzas. Another very simple and AFKable method, every time you make an anchovy pizza, you're getting a 39 cooking experience. As you guys can see, before we make the pizzas, the inventory is worth around 7.4K. And after they're all made, which takes like 15 seconds, you have 8.1K, so you're making around 700 GP per inventory. We're gonna see how fast we can do these 200 and then see how much profit we make. All right guys, so just under five minutes, we were able to make 200 anchovy pizzas. So what we're gonna do is throw them into the GE now. We started with 200K, so we made 3.6K profit in the five minutes. That brings this method up to around 45k per hour GP, plus you get some nice cooking experience and this method will always work because the anchovy pizzas are actually used for free to play PKing and people will always be buying them out. On to method number 4. Alright guys, for method 4 we're going to be doing sapphire rings. To do sapphire rings you will need 20 crafting and yes these are for free to plays. You're going to start here in Al Karid. To get to Al Karid, all you have to do is pretty much teleport to Lumbridge, run east, pay the 10 GP toll, and then just come down south until you hit the bank. Before you start this method, you will need three items. You will need a ring mold, some gold bars, and some cut sapphires. What you're going to do is you're going to take the ring mold out, and then you're going to take 12 gold bars and 12 sapphires out. Then you're going to walk north to the furnace, and make sure you walk because as you can see, you weigh 22 grams now. This way you're saving the most run energy possible. Then you're just gonna use the gold bar on the furnace, right click and make all sapphire ring. Each time you make a sapphire ring, you will get around 40 crafting EXP and I think it's around 30 to 40K EXP per hour as well. So it gets you some nice crafting experience. Now once you are done the inventory, you can run back to the bank, rinse and repeat the process. As you can see, you weigh zero kilograms on the way back, which is pretty interesting, but it is just a neat little trick to save run energy and get as many trips per hour in. As you guys can see, before we make all the sapphire rings, we have about 9.5k worth in supplies. And when we complete the inventory, they are worth roughly 11k. So we are profiting 1.5k each inventory. Every inventory takes around 30 seconds to a minute. It depends how efficient you're being, whether you're running or not. So yeah, just a great method that makes 100 to 150k per hour. And this method will always work because people need recoils for various things such as PKing and Zara. But yeah, let's move swiftly to the last method of the video. All right, guys, for the last and final method, we are gonna be telegrabbing nature runes in the deep wilderness of free to play. Now for this method, what you're gonna need is 33 magic to cast telekinetic grab. Again, this is quite a low requirement. It can be easily obtained by just casting fire strike on various monsters. As for the inventory setup, bring the best possible food, which will be around 20 plus anchovy pizzas, two energy potions, a fire rune for a Varrock teleport, and any amount of law runes that you want to risk. The more law runes you bring, the more profit you will make because you have to do fewer trips. You're going to start out in Edgeville, cross the Wilderness Ditch, and you're going to run all the way north until you hit this little lava island right here. This is where two stacks of nature runes, one has a stack of four, one has a stack of three, and you will be telegrabbing them with telekinetic grab, obviously. All right, once you're here, make sure you avoid the lesser demon. Come right up to this island with the nature rune spawns, Stand somewhere in the middle like here, and all you're going to do is start telegrabbing them like this. As you can see, that stack has a nature rune of 4, and this one has a nature rune stack of 3, which adds up to 7. We just used 2 law runes, which cost 372 GP, and we gained 1.3k worth in nature runes, which is nice. That is around a 1k profit every single time you do this. Now, if you want to speed things up, guys, and take a risk, you can hop between all the worlds to just keep grabbing nature runes, which makes this method very, very fast. But yeah, out of all the methods, guys, this is definitely the one that is most rewarding. It'll always work because nature runes are a huge part of the game. This method can easily generate 150k to over 200k an hour, depending on how many worlds you're hopping around and how many people are doing this. Once you're comfortable with the amount of nature runes you have, or you've ran out of law runes, simply just run south to 20 wilderness and then use your Varrock teleport to safety. All right, now all you have to do is go back to the Grand Exchange, sell all of them, grab some more law runes, and then just repeat the process. That is going to wrap up the video, guys. That was the five free to play money makers I thought of that will always work in the game. If you guys want a part two, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the game, I hope you can follow some of these methods and it helps you out with your RuneScape gold situation. Remember that there are a lot of methods out there that used to make good money in the past, like Samurai Wines or buying death runes. 
a lot of you guys might put those in the comments those currently do not work whatsoever because of the bots that have just infiltrated those places and they just completely kill the method now guys not too long ago we hit 10,000 subscribers and i just wanted to thank everyone who has donated for this giveaway that i'm going to be doing which is going to be this video i'm just gonna roll some clips of donations i got in game from people that have contributed to this giveaway i myself have put five bonds towards the giveaway and this giveaway is going to be absolutely massive you guys are just crazy generous I don't know what happened to the audio in this clip, but this guy right here named A99 gave us 5 bonds and 10 mil cash to give away to you guys. This guy is absolutely insane. This guy, Sobo Dog, is an absolute legend. He gave me his bank to give away to you guys. Like, this guy wants to start from scratch again. Mad respect to Sobo Dog. We also have this guy named Pwn for Skittles. This guy is always around, and he gave me, like, 10 mil plus. I couldn't find the clips of him trading it to me though because the footage was like corrupt at the end of like a stream I did on YouTube. But yeah, thanks Pwn for Skittles. So yeah, the total giveaway is going to be 5 bonds plus this 23 mil worth in platinum tokens, which I'm going to put to bonds later for the video. So there will be a lot of bonds given away, guys. Thanks again to all the people who made this possible, and thank you guys for 10,000 subs. I hope one of you free-to-play players win one of these bonds. All you have to do to enter is simply put your username in the description and subscribe to the channel. That is all I ask. And remember, guys, have a good day.